I love tarot for strengthening your intuition because I think everybody deep down kind of has an, an idea and an inkling and a feeling about things. And you can kind of use tarot to kind of test yourself on that. You know, you can pull a card of like, what does my higher self feel about this situation? And what does my ego want to hear? And taking a look at those cards and journaling about them. And also like taking a moment and pausing. I think also being really patient and pausing before we quickly react to things. And like, what do you really feel? Do you really have the energy to say yes to this? Or will you, you know, want to say no to it later? Stuff like that. So taking a pause, consulting your tarot, it confirms your feelings, especially if you're like, you're feeling like off about something, ask your tarot deck to like, give you some like, are my feelings valid about this? Mm. And then seeing what comes up. And I think that also helps you get to know the difference between your voice of intuition and the voice of fear. I think we say no a lot of times to things because we're afraid, but really that fear is intuitive excitement about doing something new and different and scary versus knowing the like true intuitive feeling of danger. This also brings up another question is I, I think some people struggle between knowing whether this is intuition or is this what my mind is telling me, <laughs> right? Some people have a really talkative mind. I, I know I do. So any thoughts on that? I feel like when your mind starts looping and chattering and going on and on and on and you're not getting to any clear message, that's when I, I'm like, okay, thank you, brain. I love you. I'm going to you're going to sit this one out and go on like, what is my gut feeling telling me? You know, if I did this thing, like, would I feel like happy and joyful? Or would I feel really like overwhelmed, put out? Like, what am I trying to talk myself into or out of? And just bring it back to feelings. <laughs> 